Hey, what's up guys, the French Monkey here. And today I wanted to showcase and talk about my newest addition to my uh, library of free Blender add-ons. And I'm gonna talk about the Orbiter add-on. The Orbiter add-on is just a simple add-on to be able to orbit inside of your viewport around the selected object that you have. And it can also switch instantly between different objects. So that's the uh, tab. You have a play, reverse, a center, an orbit speed, a recentering distance, a toggle option and uh, a text saying which object you are currently orbiting. All right, so inside of Blender to install this again, edit preference and you will have to go in the get extension. And as you can see, it is right here, the Orbiter add-on and the tab will be inside of the 3D viewport and how it works, it's very easy. You select an object, as you can see, the text will change and all you have to do is press play add some speed, and now you will see the viewport orbiting around that object. So of course, uh, you have all of your camera action that you can take. So middle mouse to orbit around, you can click on shift and middle mouse to pen your camera. And of course, you can zoom in and zoom out. While you are orbiting an object, you can switch between a different one. So as you can see now, I'm orbiting this object and i have these three statues just to show you how light it is because i have a lot of polygons here and still it's running smoothly i did a lot of optimization to kind of have a nice frame rate without draining the cpu and yeah you know i love this and i'm just going to close this so we can immerse ourselves in our scene so the orbiter add-on was created to you know take a breather because sometimes when you are creating something you are always switching around your scene but it's nice to just have the option to orbit around an object without having to change anything and just you know take a look at it <laughs> and uh, yeah that's pretty much why i made it there's a toggle full screen option that i love so something that i didn't know is that you can actually switch full screen any tab by pressing the control and space and this will full screen any tab you are currently in so as you can see here control and space to full screen to full screen but i just wanted an option here because i'm not good with shortcuts and that way i can simply just enter full screen and exit as i want to there's the speed that you can increase which is nice the reverse button and the centering. So you can adjust the recentering distance. That way, whenever you recenter, it will get this distance. And the nice thing is that you can have it orbiting while you are doing other stuff too. So I'm gonna go to my master add-on that will be released pretty soon. I'm gonna go to the spline generator chaotic and i'm gonna choose the dead rest attractor because i just love it i'm gonna go to my orbit i'm gonna start orbiting i'm gonna enter full screen maybe adjust the speed a little bit and my orbiting position by zooming in and now i can go back to my tab and you know play around the segment size the offset and yeah, have a live feed of what I'm doing, which is pretty, pretty nice. Something that I also need to mention is that the orbiter will only appear in the first 3D uh, viewport, meaning that if you have another 3D viewport, you won't see the orbiter. And I did that because that's the only way to make it stable and it wasn't really working well with two 3D viewports. So yeah, have that in mind. And all this time I was in the material preview. And as you can see, it works pretty much on all previews, even when uh, rendering. And as you can see now, this is with uh, cycles. Let me switch to Eevee. And I need to add another color to that. So yeah, that's in Eevee in real time. 
And yeah, that's the Orbiter add-on. Be sure to download it. It's a, a nice way to be able to visualize your model and uh, yeah, just, you know, take the time to reflect on what you are creating. And uh, yeah, be sure to download it, review it as well. And I will see you guys in another one. Cheers.